that's what we're going to be covering today. And of course, I know that the star of the show is the Down Payment Assistance Program and the DSCR. So we're going to do some highlights on a few um, pointers and perks about using Orion. But the majority of the time, we'll be talking about the Down Payment Assistance and the DSCR program. A little bit about Orion. Our company was formed about eight years ago. And what I love about our company is it was based purely on the broker experience. So the majority of the decisions that we make is based on broker feedback. We actually do broker roundtable meetings several times a year where we meet with broker volunteers like yourself. If you guys are interested in, in participating, let me know. And we just ask, what are we doing that you like, that you don't like, and how can we help you guys grow? And we're constantly changing a brown broker feedback. Um, I am fortunate enough to do a lot of business with Orion, so I'm lucky to have a designated team, some of uh, people who only work on my files. Diana Chronic is my account manager, also Tiffany, and then Denise Kokos is my junior underwriter. All of our contact information for the people who are working on your file, including our senior underwriters, are going to be listed right at the top of every single underwrite. So we do not hide our underwriters from you. You can contact them. Their direct line is there. Um, and all of our underwriters are seasoned and have been doing this a long time, which really comes in handy. If you have a um, hiccup on a file, they'll be able to help you uh, get out of it. <laughs> We do have employees at every single time zone. I myself, I have brokers all the way from Hawaii all the way to the East Coast. And we actually have employees from Hawaii all the way to the East Coast. So we try to make sure you guys are covered. Um, these are our, and I'm gonna send you guys all of this information by the way, after the call. So you don't have to feel like you have to write it down. But these are our main contacts. And um, one of my favorite contacts is our scenarios desk. It is answered by Orion Underwriters. So if you have a guideline question, or you want us to check your self-employed income calculation, send it there, CC me, and it, it is answered, like I said, by our Orion underwriter. So it is an invaluable tool for you guys, so definitely take advantage of it. One of my favorite things about Orion is our company invested millions of dollars in our technology, and it is really, really second to none. I love our portal. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, orionlending.com, get in there, check it out. I always say technology either works for you or against you and ours definitely works for you. So um, the obvious thing that's not even listed here that I love about our portal is that when you upload something, it's actually there. So I hear that a lot that with, and, and I've been at, at other lenders as well, where you upload something and, and the underwriters like, don't have it, don't see it. Um, my favorite thing about our portal, which is not a bullet point here, is that it works. Um, but some other features that we have are strike price. So if you guys are floating alone and you don't wanna lock yet, when you hit float, it will pop up a screen to ask you, well, um, you're floating at 3%, what credit are you looking for at 3%? And if you enter that in, you will get a text or an email as soon as we release a rate sheet that meets that criteria. It is automated and it prevents you from having to keep logging in every single day and check in pricing. Another really cool feature I like is our integrated fees solution. What that is, and a lot of you guys have already seen this, is when you are entering fees on the fee screen, it will give you the opportunity to select the title company that you're using, and then the title fees will actually pull in automatically. And our system is not fluffing the title fees, it's not um, overstating them, it's actually pulling in that title company's legitimate real title fees. So it is an awesome, awesome tool that I love. It saves you guys time and we guarantee that those fees are correct or we will cure them on the final CD. Um, another really cool tool I like is that you can set up text message notifications with status changes. And um, this is fairly new. You can run DU and LP in our portal simultaneously and see the results side by side. So this is a sample loan on your screen. You can see that, um, you, for example, you can see, well, um, not on this particular loan, but may maybe you're looking for an appraisal waiver and you would be able to compare which one is giving you an appraisal waiver, or you would be able to click and view what each DU and LP is requiring for income documentation. 
and see the difference. And that can help you decide which um, you want to go with DU or LP. I know appraisals can be a real pain point right now. So I, I did want to touch briefly on appraisals. We have over 15 different AMCs to choose from. You're wholesale with us. So you do not have to sign up with them to use them. We're signed up with them. Some of our AMCs will let you set up an appraisal panel. So if you know um, a couple of uh, Appraisal, appraisers in your area that do a nice job, um, let me know. We can, we can contact them to set up an appraisal panel for your company. You're going to order appraisals directly in our system. They do upload and task to the underwriter automatically when they're back, even if that's the only condition that you have in. And we order all the corrections and revisions for you. If you have a borrower who doesn't want to share their credit card information with you, defer payment in our system when you order the appraisal, and then you will be able to send the borrower a payment link and they can process the payment on their side. We do try to make sure we have you covered. So there's several, when you're, in, when you're in our portal, if you do need assistance, of course you can call me, but we also have a phone line that you can call. They are there 11 hours a day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have the email address, starhelp at orionlending.com. That's actually my preferred way um, to contact them. They, they do, they're very, very quick with replies if you email them. But then there's also a chat button that we added not too long ago at the bottom right of your screen you'll see the star support button and if you click that it will open up our chat bot and her name is galexa she can answer about 60 percent of your questions that you have every every time they see the same questions coming in they will teach alexa galexa to answer those and if she cannot answer your question there's always an option to be transferred to a live agent with our help desk but one good thing i like about galexa is if you're uploading a file at 3 a.m on a saturday um, and you have a question, she can usually answer the question for you, which is awesome. This is one of my absolute favorite parts of Orion. So make sure you are paying attention during this part. If you are one of those brokers who says, I know marketing is important. Um, I just don't have time to do it. And I don't want to pay somebody to do it for me. Then this is for you. So we pay for a broker marketing studio for our broker partners like you. You will see a button at the top right of your screen in our portal that says marketing studio. You're going to click that. It will ask you to fill out your information. Don't skip that step. So fill out your name. You can, you can pull in your photo, your company logo, your company colors. And those will automatically pull into all of the materials. We've got everything already designed for you. So the, we took all, the, all of the work and responsibility off of you. We've done it for you. We've got down payment assistance flyers in there, uh, TBD underwrites, jumbo, condos, everything that you can think of. One cool thing is that we have social media posts in there. And by the way, I couldn't fit. There's hundreds. I just took a couple of screenshots to show you on here. And it's fully customizable. So you can change the photos. Um, there's over a million copyright free images to choose from. Or of course, you can upload your own photo. Um, you can change the font. You can change what it says. You can, can completely repurpose a flyer or a post. Everything is in English or Spanish. Um, and I just think this is a great opportunity to promote yourself. And like I said, we've done the work for you. Everything is free for you to save it or print it. You can email materials directly to builders or real estate agents from the portal if you choose to do so. There's also real estate property uh, listing flyers in there. So you can even get some bonus points by making some flyers for your real estate agents. Um, if they're doing an open house, you can have your information on one side, their information on the other side, and really get some bonus points in there. Another common question that I'm, that I'm asked a lot is, are you guys going to call and try to refi my borrowers that I close with you? And no, we do not. We have a slogan, your clients are your clients for eternity. And we this was based on broker feedback. We took this one step farther. And when you close a loan with us, we monitor their credit after closing. And if at any time a mortgage company pulls their credit, you're going to get an email that looks like what's on the right side of your screen, usually same day to let you know that because they're probably shopping for a refi. 
So um, this is an awesome tool. It really takes some of the work off of you, for, at least for loans that you close with us. Uh, another thing I like to mention is that if you already close the loan with us and you send it back to us, we will waive our lender fee, which is usually $9.95. That saves them a thousand bucks just right off the bat. It gives you a leg up on any competition that um, they would be talking to. Uh, but side note, with any lender, you never want to refi somebody within six months of closing because you're in that recapture fee. So keep an eye on that. That's with anyone. Um, another cool thing that we do is that every six months, we're going to send you an Excel spreadsheet of the loans that you've closed with us that may have a refi opportunity there. So again, saving you a lot of work in that Excel spreadsheet, we're going to include what we think the property value is, what we think their credit score is. Uh, what rate they closed at and highlight any refi opportunities that we see from your pipeline that you've closed with us. Um, as far as turn times, we are fast and we've been fast for a long time. So for at least six months, we've been one day pretty much on anything. This is a screenshot from our portal. You'll see a rainbow button that says current turn times. If you click that, it will pop up what our current turn times are. Spoiler alert pretty much one day on everything, one day setup, one day underwrite, one day conditions, um, one day CDs, one day closing. So whatever question you have on turn time, it is usually one day. Now to the good stuff. So I know a lot of you guys are interested in the down payment assistance. So I do wanna jump into that now. So if you're snoozing, wake up. This is the part you've been waiting for. And I am going to move kind of quickly through this. Um, but if, if there's something that I miss um, at the end of this section, I'll tell you when we're done talking about DPA. And if I haven't covered your question, feel, please feel free to call me or email me. But as I mentioned, I know what questions brokers ask on this. So I think I'm going to answer all your questions. So here we go. We have multiple down payment assistance programs with Orion, and this is down payment assistance in the form of a soft second mortgage if you're going FHA. So for example, if the, uh, um, the, the main purchase is 96 and a half, your first mortgage is gonna have a 96 and a half percent LTV with FHA. The down payment assistance of three and a half percent would be held as a soft second so that your CLTV is actually 100 percent. A couple of rule of thumbs that I like to talk about before we jump into the guidelines. The down payment assistance program is going to cover the down payment for the borrower. We do have rate options now on our rate sheet that will usually cover also your compensation if you choose a high enough rate. So your down payment is covered. In most cases, your compensation is covered. What is not going to be covered is the majority of the other closing costs and prepaids. So who can pay those? Of course, the borrower can pay them if they have some savings. Um, the seller can pay them through seller contributions. It can be an eligible gift or it can be a combination of the three. Here is where down payment assistance won't work. If you have a borrower that comes to you and says, I've saved up $500 um, under contract and I don't have any seller contributions, that is not going to work. And the reason being is because someone in the transaction is going to need to pay the majority of the closing costs in the prepaids. What I like about down payment assistance, why I think it's a huge opportunity, is that, of course, it helps the borrowers. Um, like I mentioned, this is for borrowers who have maybe saved up $7,000, but they don't have $27,000. So this really helps to fill in those gaps. As you guys know, real estate agents want this product. They're looking for it. It's a great opportunity for you guys to build more um, solid real estate relationships. What I like about it for you is it's a common misconception that you can't make any money off DPA loans. So yes, most down payment assistance loans do cap your compensation lower. For example, our Shanoa product is capped at one and a half. Our um, National Home Buyers Fund is capped at two. But because the rates are higher on DPA loans, a lot of them for FHA are coming in at 4.75, which is the highest rate we have on our rate sheet today. That is subject to change. Um, this is pretty much a guaranteed refi opportunity for you down the road. So let's say you make two points on the transaction now, um, and then let's say your normal comp plan is two and a half points, and you make that 12 months from now on the refi, you've made four and a half points off this one borrower 
um, within the 12 month period and you've you've helped them, you've helped them get into a home that they wouldn't have been able to get without you. The reason I say 12 months is because obviously you don't want to refi somebody within six months because you're in the broker comp recapture period. But if it's an FHA loan, FHA has a rule that says that if there's a junior lien and down payment assistance is considered a junior lien, that the wait is actually 12 months before you can do a rate and term refi. It does need to be a rate and term. It won't be eligible for a streamline because of that second mortgage, but you can do a rate and term if you wish or cash out. Um, if, if it fits in the LTV, if it's appreciated enough. And as a general rule of thumb, I would just set your borrowers up it, while you're taking the app for the down payment assistance and say, hey, we're going to get you in this house. You're going to have a, a higher rate. But 12 months from now, if you've made all your payments on time, I'm going to refinance you into a, um, a, a lower rate, hopefully, if the, if the rates stay low. And that gives you an opportunity to get paid on the loan twice. So huge opportunity here. Um, let me check. Our, we have our, uh, let's see. I know somebody raised their hand. I will go back and check the, um, if you can type in your question, I will check back in just a second and, and see if, uh, if we've answered your question. What I like about DPA with Orion is that we have full underwriting authority with our DPA programs. What this means is that we don't have to send these off to the down payment assistance program for underwriting. This makes us a lot faster than a lot of other lenders with DPA. You can definitely close these inside 30 days if you get your appraisal back in a decent amount of time. And we have options for FHA, USDA, and conventional, which I'll show you. Our technology, as we mentioned, is awesome. It's going to structure the down payment assistance for you. So you can pull your 3.4 file in as just a regular FHA loan if you want, just 96 and a half. As soon as you select the down payment assistance program as the loan purpose, it will structure that second mortgage for you, put it in the CLTV for you. You are only going to have one loan number in our portal. I know some other lenders, um, you'll have two loan numbers for us. It's just one. It makes it easier for you. And our DPA programs themselves do not require that the borrower be a first time home buyer. And as mentioned, we have tons and tons of marketing materials for you um, in our uh, marketing studio that's free for you. So getting into the FHA down payment assistance programs, I, a common question I get is how do I know which one to pick? Well, we have the National Home Buyer Fund. Um, if you just, I, I, I would say National Home Buyer Fund right now, and this could change later, but it is pricing out better on 660 and up where there's a good bit, and we'll take a look at a pricing example. There's a there's a good bit of crit, a credit on those 660 and up borrowers. So National Home Buyer Fund is what I would recommend right now if you have an approved eligible 660 and up. Chinoa is does not have right now a credit score hit for the lower credit scores, and it tends to price out best for those borrowers who are in the lower 600 range. So that is my rule of thumb, 600 to 659 Chinoa, 660 and up approve eligible national home buyer fund. So how this is going to work is that National Home Buyer Fund will allow you to make up to two points. You don't have to make the full two points, and it is borrower paid comp. All of our DPA programs require that you go borrower paid comp. That is their rule. We don't have overlays on that. Um, the reason most down payment assistance programs cap the comp lower is to protect these borrowers who are short on funds and don't have a down payment. What's nice about these programs for FHA is that they have a 0% interest on that down payment assistance second mortgage with no monthly payments due. So they're going to be making a, a payment on the 96.5% first mortgage. They are not going to be making a payment on that 3.5% second mortgage and there's no interest being accrued. The National Home Buyer Fund is not a forgivable second. So as soon as they go to refi the home or they sell the property, the down payment assistance um, second mortgage is due at the closing table. For Chinoa, it actually does have a forgivable option. So for the three and a half percent down payment assistance program, as long as they've had no 30 day lates within 36 months, it's forgivable after 36 months. If they do the 5% down payment assistance 
option. It's forgivable after 10 years of no 60 day lates. Um, the National Home Buyer Fund will go all the way down to a 620, but as I mentioned, it really prices out better with a 660 and up. The Chinoa Fund will go all the way down to a 600 for FHA. National Home Buyer Fund just changed their guideline in that the max DTI is just per the DU. And as a side note, National Home Buyer Fund does not do man manual underwrite, so you do need an approved eligible. As far as Chinoa, the DTI limits are still pretty high. You can go up to 45% if you're under a 640, even up to 50% with certain comp factors that I will shoot to you guys after the call. And then if they're 640 to 659, they can go up to 50%, even higher um, if it's approved eligible, up to 55%, um, as long as they've got some comp factors that I'll send to you. Income limits, we're going to talk about in just one second. While we're on the screen, one other thing I want to point out to you is that Chinoa will allow a two unit. I think that's pretty cool because they can buy a duplex, live in one side, rent out the other side, and actually have some um, rental income on the property that they're buying with down payment assistance. As far as education, the National Home Buyer Fund does require um, an education course. For Chinoa, it's only required for borrowers who have a score under 640. I can send you guys a one that's online and free. They have several time slots throughout every day. It's, it, they, can, it, they can knock it out in one hour online. It's, it's not a big deal at all. On the income limits, National Home Buyer Fund allows up to 160% of the area median income. And then the Chinoa Fund um, allows up to 115% of the area median income. And we are going to take a look at, at an example. So I'm going to send you guys this website, but you can go to um, a HUD website to check the income limits. You're just going to click this button that says click here for the income limits. You're going to select the state and the county click on view county calculations, ignore everything on the right side of the screen. It doesn't matter how many people are in the household. You're only going to look at this number, which in the Atlanta area is 86,200. What that number is, is it's actually the median income for the entire family. However, for down payment assistance, we are not looking at the entire family, which makes this really cool. So the income limits apply only to the borrowers on our loan and only to their qualifying income. So for example, um, it, for example, if, if you have um, alimony income or let's say um, bonus income, but you're not using it to qualify for our loan, we do not have to count that in the income limits. We also don't have to count other people who live in the home like you would for USDA. So National Home Buyer Fund, as I mentioned, they will allow 160% of this number. So if you're doing that program, you would just do uh, take that number, I like to multiply it by 1.6, which is the same thing as 160%, and that gives you 137,000. I don't know about you, I do not consider that low income. So it is a common misconception that down payment assistance is for low income borrowers. As for Chinoa, um, the, you would take the 86,200 um, and multiply it, and, and I'm sorry, I have a typo here. I just realized I, I left off the $200, but you would multiply that number by 115% and that would give you the income cap for Chinoa. What's cool about Chinoa, and I'm going to go back to this last screen to show you this, is that if they are over the income cap with Chinoa, they can still get down payment assistance with Chinoa. So let's say they make $500,000 a year. They're well over the 115% income cap. They can still get down payment assistance with Chinoa, but it would instead be repayable. So that's this section here where it says, if over the caps, the second mortgage would instead be a repayable second, and they would have a choice. They could pick a 30-year term on the second mortgage at a 5% interest rate, or they could pick a 10-year term with a 0% interest rate. So they could even uh, still borrow that money interest-free. They, if they are over the caps and they're doing the repayable second, then they would have a payment on the first mortgage and the payment on the second mortgage um, every month. And we did get a, a, a question in that do we do uh, modular homes? Um, yes, modular homes make sure that you, you have at least one or two modular um, home comparable sales on the appraisal. That's the tricky part about modular homes. And then, is, of course, both of these programs welcome 
manufactured homes as well. And do the units have to be attached on Chinoa? No, it, they do not have to be attached. Again, just make sure you have, it really comes down to the appraisal on, on this. So just make sure you have good comparable sales. By the way, this is something, if you have a property and you have a link to the property or some photos of the property or the appraisal, and you're not sure if the property is eligible, this would be a good thing to send to our scenarios desk. Um, the scenarios desk, again, is scenarios with an S at orionlending.com. And we did get a question, how long does it take to process Chinoa? Our turn, since we're doing all of these in-house and we don't have to send our DPA off for underwriting, um, these are just the same turn times as, as any other loan with us. So one day set up, one day underwriting right now, um, one day conditions, one day closings, really what, what the big piece on any loan right now is getting that appraisal back. But with us, you can definitely close down payment assistance loans inside 30 days. I have heard horror stories with other lenders about DPA taking three or four months to close. That is usually with lenders who don't have full underwriting authority, but we do. So that um, makes these a, um, a lot easier to close with Orion. And let me see if we've got any other questions in. And I think that's it for now. Uh, oh, with a soft second, 5% can borrow or refi out of this year, the program after one year. So yes, they can. If, if they're doing the repayable second to the 30 year at 5%, yes, they can refi and pay that off um, after a year. They would just need to pay off both the first and the second at that time. Values do seem to be appreciating right now. So with the loans that I've closed in the past, usually they're they're very eligible for a refi after 12 months and then um, and paying off the first and the second. So we're lucky right now in this market that we're working with. Okay, so let me catch up to, to where we were. So pricing example, this was priced yesterday. I did not take the screenshot today because I, I um, rates weren't out yet when I put this presentation together. So this is yesterday's pricing. Um, when you're pricing these out, you wanna select FHA as the loan type. Again, I would select Chinoa for the low score, 600 to 659. They tend to work very nicely with Chinoa right now. So this, this pricing is, is for a 600 score is what I put in for this. Again, all DPA loans are borrower paid comp. You don't have the option to go lender paid with the DPA. And as you can see, the highest rate on our rate sheet yesterday is, and I think it's the same today, is 4.75. Most of these are coming in at that, at that um, sorry. <laughs> I think Amazon knocked on my door, so my, my dogs are going to talk to you. Um, but most people are going with the 4.75. That has a credit of 1.75, and that is enough to cover your 1.5 comp, because remember with Chinoa, um, the compensation is capped at 1.5. So if you pick that 4.75 rate, it will pay the comp and have a quarter left over to go towards um, closing comp. Um, and as I mentioned, so the, uh, the, the down payment assistance is going to pay your, um, the, the down payment for the borrower, it's going to pay the one and a half percent borrower paid comp, what it's not going to pay is the closing costs and prepaids. And I think I've got some notes on this. Let me see. There, there we go. I can get it to pop up here. So just keep in mind with down payment assistance, somebody is going to need to pay the majority of the closing costs and prepays, the borrower, the seller, or a gift, or a combination of the three. And I'm going to leave this up for just a second because I know this is the pricing is important for you guys to kind of soak it in on, on how this works. As I mentioned for Chinoa, there's no hits on the, the lower credit scores right now. So even if this, if this were a 640, it would, it would be a very similar pricing. And that's why Chinoa is good for the lower 600 scores. And you can see that our system automatically will put in that second mortgage for you. It's not something that you guys have to put in. As soon as you select that down payment assistance program, it's gonna put it in for you. Now I've priced, a, a, let's pretend that you have a 680 score. And as I mentioned, 660 and up, that tends to be best with the National Home Buyer Fund right now. So this is what I've priced, a 680 score um, National Home Buyer Fund. Again, the highest rate on our rate sheet is 4.75. That is usually where I see DPA loans come in because typically borrowers who need help with 
down payment. They also need help covering the comp and closing costs. So that is the most popular option for these. National Home Buyer will allow you to make up to two points in borrower paid comps. So if let's just say, for example, you pick this 4.75 rate, it has a credit of 2.234. Um, and it will cover your two points in comp and have just a little bit left over to go towards the closing costs and prepaids. But same thing, the um, somebody else is going to need to pay either the borrower, the seller, or a gift is going to be needed to cover the majority of the closing costs and prepaids. Um, and I got a question, is the upfront MI cost for FHA inside? Um, yes, so if you'll, if you'll see this uh, box here, I did put the 1.75 upfront MIP is gonna be financed into the loan. Um, so that is included in this pricing scenario. Also, I like to mention that National Home Buyer Fund has a USDA program, which is pretty awesome. And what's unique about that is USDA offers 100% financing. So the 3.5% assistance can be used to cover the closing costs and prepaid. So that USDA is probably the exception to the rule where you probably won't need very much, if any, seller contributions on that because um, the, it's 100% financing, no down payment. And then the uh, three and a half percent assistance from National Home Buyer Fund can be used for the closing costs and prepaid. So I like to mention that that's a pretty um, cool scenario. And yes, you you can have a non-occupying co-borrower on the down payment assistance. I just got that in the um, chat here. Now, moving on to conventional DPA, the conventional down payment assistance, um, the main difference with conventional, which is offered through Chinoa, is that it, they're all repayable. So the FHA, usually people are going with the soft second on that. That's by far the most popular for Chinoa. But with conventional, this is going to be a repayable second every time. There is no option for a soft second. So there, let's say that, that you can do a 95% first. You can do a 97% first if the borrower is eligible. You could do home ready or regular conventional. Um, but that second mortgage that's used for the down payment assistance is going to be repayable. The only option is a 10-year term on the second, and the rate is just going to be too higher than the first. So let's say the rate on the first mortgage is 4%. The rate on that 10-year down payment assistance second will be 6%. It's just two over whatever the, pay, the rate on the first is. Um, the nice part about conventional is there's no overlay. So this is just regular conventional. What you see on your screen, this is just, um, other than the comp, is just regular conventional um, guidelines. So home ready is gonna cap you at 80% of the area median income. That's not a Chinoa rule, that's a home ready rule. And home ready does not require that they be a first time home buyer. I do like to point out that Fannie has a rule that if the CLTV is over 95%, which it will be on a DPA loan, that they have to be a first time home buyer if your first mortgage is going to be um, a regular Fannie Mae loan. Uh, home ready for the first would not require that they be a first time home buyer. And of course, as long as it's not home ready, there's no income limits um, for the borrower, which is pretty nice. This was a pricing example for yesterday with our conventional Chinoa. What I priced out was a 97% home ready first with a 5% um, Chinoa second down payment assistance. Um, by the way, side note, I would make sure if you're pricing a conventional Chinoa that the borrower has at least a 700 score, the down payment assistance right now is not pricing good with conventional under 700 for down payment assistance. So I would only look at conventional DPA with a 700 and up. This one I used a 740 for the pricing example. Again, it's borrower paid comp. All DPA program is borrower paid. Chinoa caps you at one and a half percent on borrower paid comp. Now you look at this and you're like, wait, four four percent has a discount point of an eighth. Yes, it does, but here's why they're not going to have to pay that. So what we selected on this was a five percent assistance from Chinoa. So from that five percent assistance that Chinoa is going to give at the closing table, three percent is going to be used for the down payment. But then there's 2% left over. That leftover 2% can pay your one and a half comp 
And then they still have a half a percent left over towards closing costs and prepaids, which can of, co of course cover this eighth discount and um, have a little bit left over, just a tiny bit left over towards the rest of the closing costs and prepays. But as mentioned, it's usually these rates and the program is only gonna cover just a tiny bit of their closing costs and prepays, either the borrower or the seller or eligible gift is not gonna need to cover the rest of what is needed. Now, this is a cool, cool thing that Orion does. I love that we do this. We will do a full underwrite prior to contract on um, pretty much all of our programs. Uh, there are a few exceptions that I'll tell you about, but this does include down payment assistance. So you can, if you have a borrower who's shopping and you want to get them fully approved before they go under contract, we can absolutely do that for you. It's still just one day um, set up, one day underwrite on these. You're going to keep the same loan number all the way through closing. We are not doing what some other lenders are doing, like a prequal. We're not doing that. We're doing a real full underwrite. So we need the credit, um, which you can pull into our portal, the DU, which you can run in our portal, and um, income and assets per the DU. So we need a real file. Of course, we don't need anything property related, so we're not going to need title work or insurance or anything like that. But we need enough to give you a real underwrite on these. And Orion will actually even do a $500 lender credit at closing if you, have, if you converted that TBD underwrite to contract within 30 days of the TBD approval. Um, now, if you have a, a, a trick, if, tricky scenario where let's say it's a um, manual underwrite and you've got an installment late six months ago. You, if, if it's a specific question that you have, you actually don't have to submit the full file. You could just send that to our scenarios desk and attach the credit report and LOX. Um, that's scenarios at orionlending.com. Um, the TBD underwrites, I, I, I like though, because it kind of gets you ahead of the ball game on um, as far as the time frame, So it allows you to close even faster. So think about it. If you submit your down payment assistance for a full underwrite prior to contract, you've got it fully underwritten. Um, the borrower has been working on their conditions. Then once they go under contract, you're going to upload that contract. We'll send initial disclosures out at that point. We'll do that for you on our side. And then you order that appraisal. You can order the appraisal as a rush if you really want to impress everyone. And then you can close that loan pretty quickly. So this does allow you to get ahead of the timeline. Now, if there's something I did not cover, we're pretty much done with the down payment assistance portion of the call. I'm gonna move into our DSCR no income doc program, which is something a lot of people are interested in. If there's something I did not answer on the down payment assistance during the call, please um, shoot me an email. My email address is on the screen or you can buzz me and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Of course, we have the scenarios desk as well. A popular program that's really hot right now in the industry is DSCR. That does stand for debt service coverage ratio. What this means is this is investor occupancies only. It cannot be a second home. It cannot be owner occupied because what lenders are doing is we're comparing the rental income capability on that property to the PITI on our subject property and getting the what we call a DSCR ratio there. And that's how they're qualifying. For us, we're not getting any income docs from you. No pay stubs, no W-2s, no tax returns. You're not putting employment on the 1003. Uh, you're not putting income on the 1003. And in fact, if you do that, we'll probably make you resubmit it. So make sure when you are registering and submitting a DSCR loan that there's no income on the 1003, no employment on the 1003, no income on the file. So how do we get the DSCR ratio to qualify them? So we do these on purchases, rate and term, and cash out. And we are getting a lot of cash out loans for DSCR. And probably a lot of these investors are probably taking cash out and using that to purchase other properties. But how do you calculate the ratio? So on a purchase, you're going to order a regular um, investor appraisal. Let's say that the rent comp schedule on the appraisal comes back at $2,000 a month. You're going to divide that by our PITI, the A stands for association fee. So you're going to divide it by the full payment on our subject property. And that gives you what is called a DSCR ratio. So on this example, 
um, after you take 2000 for the uh, rent comp schedule, divide it by our payment, that is 1.25. Um, on a refi, there's one difference in how you calculate that. And that is you take the lower of the lease or the rent comp schedule on the appraisal. So um, if, if it is um, a refi, we are going to look at the lease and take the lower of the lease or the rent comp schedule. In this scenario example, the rent comp schedule is lower. So we're gonna take the 2,400, divide it by our PITI of 1,000, I'm sorry, 2,000, and that ratio is 1.2. Now, what do you do with that number and what does that number mean? Great question. So we actually go all the way down to a ratio of 0 .7, um, 0 0.75 on our DSCR, which means if you have a ratio of 0.75, that means the anything under one means that the payment on that uh, loan is actually more than the rental income capability on it. You're not going to see that a lot because usually the whole point in an investment property is to make money off of it. But if it does happen, we do have a loan for that. Um, because we require the lease agreement on refis, we also have a no ratio. Let's say that you have a, a refi and they can't produce a lease agreement, then they would need to go in our no ratio program, which the LTV caps are a little bit lower on those, but we do have that option available. So I want to point out that if, if you're looking up here at our purchase for DSCR, we go all the way up to 85% on a DSCR purchase, which is pretty much unheard of right now in the industry. Industry. There's only one or two lenders that are doing that. And what's really special about our DSCR is the, are the rates. Our rates are smoking everybody. I do have a pricing example I'll show you. We're blowing everybody out of the water. Um, the reserve requirements are over here on the right. And um, we're only requiring reserves on our subject property. So we allow up to 15 other finance properties with DSCR. We're not asking you for reserves on those. We're only asking for reserves on our property. So I will shoot this over to you. Um, the, the matrix, by the way, all the matrix for all of our products are also on our portal at www.orionlending.com. So if you want to view any of our guidelines or matrix, check it out there. Um, so a, a couple of things I want to point about a, a, out about our DSCR investor up to 85%. We do have an interest only option, even a 40 year interest only option, which is pretty cool. I'm even hearing that we may release arms pretty soon. Purchase rate and term and cash out. If they're doing cash out, 500,000 is the max cash out. Um, like I mentioned, we go all the way down to 0.75 and even do no ratio. And I just saw a question come in. Are we on Optimal Blue Loan Sector? Yes, we are. If you need instructions on how to add us, email me and I'll send you those instructions. But when you're using Loan Sifter, you have to one, make sure that the lender is visible in there. That's step one. And then two, you have to make sure that we're showing for all products. If you have Orion in your Loan Sifter and we're not showing for DSCR, then go in and make sure that you have us marked for all products. Um, and then we do we do have a minimum loan amount on DSCR. It's a hundred thousand, so keep an eye out on that. We go all the way down for to a six sixty on the credit score. We allow first time investors on DSCR. We do not allow first time home buyers. So this can be their first investment property as long as they've owned another home. It cannot be their very first mortgage or that they've ever had ever. Do all properties that the borrower owned have to be stated on the 1003? Um, yes, put put all of the properties that they own on the on the 1003, um, but we do not need rental income on those properties. Uh, so always leave all of the income blank. We do need to know what properties they own though. So fill that part out. Um, one cool thing is a lot of these borrowers you'll see are uh, self-employed and we do allow them to close in an LLC. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we do allow non-perm resident aliens as well. Again, for our full guidelines on this, check that out on our website. There's lots of stuff in there. A couple other cool things is even though these are investor loans, you can, you can use gift funds for both the down payment and reserves and let that sink in for a minute because that's really, really cool. So investor occupancy, 
you can use gift funds to meet both the down payment and the reserve requirements. Also, as I mentioned, a lot of these borrowers are self-employed. You can use business funds for the reserves and down payment. And if they're doing cash out, you can use the cash out proceeds to meet the reserve requirements with Orion, which is pretty cool. We um, do single family, two to four unit, warrantable and non-warrantable condos. If you have a non-warrantable condo and you're not sure if it's going to meet the guidelines, um, send that to me or the scenarios desk and we'll get it to our condo desk to kind of give it a quick glance um, to see if it's going to work before you submit the whole file. We do allow short-term rentals on our DSCR. This would be like Airbnb, um, rent short-term rentals, and we do accept transferred appraisals. So this pricing example was from yesterday. Um, I did an 80% DSCR. We do go up to 85% on a purchase, but the pricing of course is a little worse on 85%. I priced this out borrower paid. You can take these lender paid with us. Um, if you go lender paid and your comp is like 2.75 or if it's over two points, it will put it at a discount um, because our, our pricing is capping out right now at two points but you can go lender paid with these. Um, but our, our pricing is incredible. For any of you who are doing DSCR, you probably know that most lenders are in the fives, even sixes on the rates. Um, we have on this particular scenario, 4.125 and four and a quarter at the closest to par here. By the way, if you're wondering, um, how does borrower paid comp and lender paid comp at the same rate at the same comp affect somebody's closing costs? Um, scan my YouTube QR code down here. I've got a really nice video um, that explains the differences between borrower paid and lender paid comp and how it, that affects the uh, borrower's closing costs. And spoiler alert, if you're doing the same comp amount and the same rate, it makes no difference between borrower paid comp to lender paid comp as far as their funds to close. But I, that is all explained in a video that I have there. You'll just scan, take your camera and scan that QR code and it'll open it up. And by the way, I'm, I'm gonna put it back on the screen here in a minute in case you didn't have time to do that. We also do a lot of jumbo at Orion. We have a op center in Charlotte. We have an op center in Southern California and Southern California, as you guys know, um, every loan's like a million dollars. So we do have six jumbo programs. We go all the way down to a 660 score. We have products that go up to 90% on purchase and then 89.99 on cash out. No mortgage insurance when you're over 80% on jumbo. We have loan amounts all the way up to 3 million. We have programs that allow non-occupant co-borrowers, transferred appraisals, first-time home buyers. Um, we have an interest-only product. This was a pricing example from yesterday. What I priced was a purchase 80%, and I, I priced it three different ways. The, the Titan AUS and the Titan Prime Jumbo tends to be better at the lower price points. Like this one has 3.125 at par with borrower paid comp. You can go lender paid comp. Um, and the same, this is pretty much identical pricing. And then our jumbo AUS tends to have more credit at the higher rates. So if you have a jumbo scenario, since we have six different products, call me and we can price it six different ways and um, make sure that we get you the best pricing for your scenario. So we have the niche stuff that we covered, but still today, at least seven or eight out of every 10 loans that we get in our door is uh, your standard FHA, USDA, VA, and conventional. And we do have some really exciting stuff on these products that you probably did not know about, especially on the conventional. So I wanna cover some of the highlights. We go down to a 580 score on FHA with no overlays. Um, this means we can do non-owner occupied streamlines. So if you had a borrower who, who purchased their home FHA, um, owner occupied, later they moved out of it, now they're renting it and they wanna do a streamlined refi, they can, we do that. So contact me if you have that scenario. We have no max DTI with an approved eligible. If it's a manual, we're gonna follow manual guidelines. We do manufactured homes. We're allowing the half a percent per HUD guidelines on student loan balances if, um, if, if the payments are deferred. 
And on manuals, we're following HUD guidelines. So you can go all the way up to 50% per HUD guidelines on a manual underwrite. Um, by the way, if to go up to 50% HUD requires two comp factors. If you want the guidelines on manuals, they're on my YouTube channel, or you can email me as well. The big thing on a manual underwrite is you want to check and make sure they've had no installment or housing lates in the past 12 months at all. They can have some minor revolving stuff going on in the last year, but not installment or housing. And then no more than two times 30 installment or housing lates the, the year before that. Um, and then also check and make sure you have no new collections and charge offs unless they're medical in the last 12 months as well. And our, uh, we are doing condo spot approvals and we do them very quickly and easily. Um, what, HUD, what HUD requires on a spot approval is what is called a HUD 9991 form. You can Google it, the form will pop up. That's what the HOA needs to fill out. And then when you request a case number in our portal, make sure you upload that. We'll send it over to HUD. We typically hear back from them in about three or four business days and we'll let you know the feedback, but we do make those very easy. And we are honoring, of course, the new FHA loan limits. They're live in our portal. It goes off the case number. So it's going to ask you, was the case number, wh which limits are we going off 2021 or 2022? And you'll select that in our portal. This was a pricing example from yesterday. Um, as you can see, 2.75. I did a 680 score. Um, borrower paid is, is paying back 2.682. So if your comp is two points lender paid, then after your lender paid comp is, is accounted for 2.75 would have still had a credit of 0.682. By the way, we do a um, special for new brokers. So for the first 30 days, if you're getting signed up with us now, you'll get a pricing incentive of 0.15. That's even going to look better than this for your first 30 days of locks. VA. So VA, similar deal. We go down to 580 with no overlays all the way up to 2.5 million loan amounts. You can do the non-owner occupied EARLs, no max DTI, as long as you have a DU or LP approval. We welcome manufactured homes and we are great at manual underwrites on VA, no overlays. What VA requires, technically there's not a max DTI on a VA manual, as long as you have some really nice compensating factors, but the VA says that DTIs over 41 require 120% residual income met. And then the biggie on VA manuals is that you have no, no derogatories at all in the last 12 months, maybe like a one times 30 on a credit card, but definitely no new non-medical collections, charge-offs or installment or housing lates. One cool thing about Orion is that we will not include borrower paid comp in the event that you go borrower paid comp on a VA in the 1% unallowable fee cap, which if you were paying attention on your NMLS renewal this year, VA does have a 1% cap on unallowable fees and lenders um, typically will inc include borrower paid comp in that 1% allowable fee cap, meaning that if you take a VA loan borrower paid comp, your cap is your comp is going to be kept well under 1%. Um, we will omit borrower paid comp from that calculation as long as the final lender credit covers all of your comp. So let's say that you have, let's, let's look at this 2.75 right here that has a credit of 2.573. If And let's say you're going borrower paid comp, we would allow you to charge 2.5 um, all the way up to 2.573 on that borrower paid comp because the final lender credit is covering all of your compensation. This is huge. For any of you who are doing a lot of VA loans, um, this is a huge, huge part because where you would want to take a VA loan borrower paid, maybe like if you're doing an interest rate reduction EARL um, and you need to get them at a lower rate to meet the net tangible benefit requirements, um, and you may need to reduce your comp a little bit. That's where we usually see these come in. Most lenders in America will, will cap you and include it in the 1% unallowable fee. We have a way um, to omit that. So contact me if you have questions on that or um, need a little more info on that. Here is a pricing example from yesterday. Um, this was a VA purchase with a 700 score, 100%. Um, borrower paid comp. And as you can see, we have uh, 2.75 paying back almost two and a half points. 
Moving on to USDA, we go all the way down to 620 with USDA with no overlays, max DTI is per your GUS approval. Um, we do high balance, of course, manufactured homes, and we do, we're great at manual underwrites for USDA as well. Similar to VA, you want clean credit for the last 12 months. The DTI cap um, is typically 29 over 41, and USDA with a manual is going to require an LOX for all derogatories on the entire credit report. Um, make sure when you're doing an LOX, and this is for any loan program, anytime an LOX is required for derogatory, you want to include what happened, what they did to make it right and get caught up. And very important, the last part of the letter should be what is different now to prevent a similar situation from happening again. If you want a sample LOX on a file, um, a, a, a great LOX, this underwriter approved as far as the outline and template and what needs to be covered, email me, I'll send it to you. We do have an option for us to sponsor you for Gus so that you can run your, get your Gus findings directly through Gus. So um, visit our website or email me for instructions on how to do that. If you run your findings yourself on Gus and then release them to us, we can use your credit report and, and not have to um, pull a new one. And here is some sample USDA pricing from yesterday, 100% with a 680. Um, we have 2.625 closest to par. And then you can see three and a quarter is paying back 2.72. So good USDA pricing as well. So here's some fun stuff. People think conventional is boring, but let me tell you what's unique about Orion with conventional. Other than the basics, we do, we do the appraisal waivers. We honor one-year tax returns per the AUS. No max DTI per AUS, but here's a fun part. So you may have heard, but I don't know of any lenders doing it except for us, that Fannie just recently said you can do blended FICOs on conventional loans and somebody can have a score under 620 now if there's two or more borrowers on the loan. So here's how that works. If you have one borrower on the loan, they need a 620 or higher. If you have two borrowers on the loan, one of them can have a score under 620 as long as the other borrower is over a 620 and when you average them, you're at a 620 or higher. And quick example, let's say that you have a, um, a 600 score borrower, which is under 620, that's their mid score is a 600. The other borrower has a 700 mid score. When you take the average of the two, that is a 650. Obviously that's over 620. So as long as you run that and get a DU approved eligible, that is working for conventional now. And we are following the Fannie guideline and accepting that now. Um, you don't have to enter that average anywhere. So that average is calculated by DU. You're not typing that in anywhere. Um, also, you are basing the pricing off the lower borrower score borrower, just like you would on any other loan. And I will show you a pricing example. We're also doing no score borrowers just for conventional, not government, as long as there is another borrower on the loan who has a score. Of course, we do the home ready and home possible. We do the DPA, as you know, on conventional. And we're doing the new Fannie Mae refi now. What that is, is it is a conventional rate and term refi. It has to be owned by Fannie for at least 12 months. It's the same income caps as Home Ready. And um, one cool thing that Fannie is allowing on those is they're, they're, most of them are getting a property inspection waiver and do you, but if it doesn't, they're doing a $500 credit, additional credit at closing, which pretty much reimburses them for the appraisal. But here's the cool part about that program. It allows up to 65% DTI. So why they rolled this product out, it's the conventional rate and term, is Fannie rolled this refi now product out to help borrowers refinance and get into a lower payment that would not otherwise qualify due to their DTI. So if you get a borrower in, their DTI is way out of whack, it's a rate and term, it's owned by Fannie Mae, um, and they fit within the home ready caps, run it through DU. You're just gonna run it as a regular rate and term. And if it's eligible for refi now, you'll get that verbiage in your DU approval. It's a really cool program. So here's some example pricing from yesterday on our conventional. I just did a conventional 80% loan. Um, this is borrower paid pricing. Um, so here's the credits now. By the way, if you need your login reset or if you want a demo login to jump in and price some loans, email me and I'll, I'll get that over to you. Now, here's what we talked about, the blended FICO. So you're like, okay, well, if somebody has a 580 score um, with conventional, that pricing is going to be horrific, right? So let's say that you have somebody 
you're doing the blended FICOs with conventional and you've got a 580 score borrower and you got a 780 score borrower, you ran it, you got a DU approval, you still have to base the pricing off that lower 580 score borrower. You would probably think the pricing would be horrific. It wouldn't work, but here's the pricing from our portal yesterday at a conventional 580. Um, and as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not probably as terrible as you would think. So don't write those off. Now, I, and probably you're thinking you've got a ton of loans to submit to Orion now that you know everything that we can do. We do a lot of broker awards. We'll send you for bragging rights. Um, you can post these on your social media, on your website. We do these quarterly, um, even for quickest closing. So it, it, if you've got a loan, you need to slam dunk it and close it fast. Let's try to get you one of these badges and, and get that bad boy closed quickly. And these are an example of some of the badges that we would get to you uh, for your bragging rights. If you enjoyed this education, I do a lot of broker training several a week on various topics. I would love for you to email me and tell me what specific training you would like me to cover if there's something, uh, an, an area that you need covered and need more help on. Also, our company does regular trainings. If you go to our portal, um, you can click on um, the training section, which looks kind of like what you see on your screen. And you'll see various trainings that, are that our own uh, Orion training department is hosting right now, which they do a training on the STAR portal. They'll walk you through a sample upload. They do that call every Tuesday and Thursday at different times. So you can see our really cool technology and all the features that it has. And we have some other other cool trainings as well. That is pretty much all I had for you guys. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, you will just point your camera at these QR codes and scan it and it will open those up. If I had something that I did not answer on the call today, please email me. My email address and phone number is at the top of the screen. I really, really and truly, I know I took up a lot of your time. I went five minutes over. I really appreciate you guys joining the call today and I would love to hear from you. So let me know what I can uh, do for you guys. I, you can leave the call now. I'm gonna hang back and see what questions we get in the chat. But um, if you don't have any questions, thank you again for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day. I got a question in how often do I do these webinars? I'm gonna do these at least weekly. So if you would like for me to send you next week's webinar, if you've got a teammate or somebody else that you wanna join, just shoot me an email to the email address on your screen and I will send you a, it, it actually, I don't have that one set up yet for next week. So if you wanna suggest a time in a day for next week or a time that works for your team, just email me that over and I'll try to accommodate that time for you. And yes, I, I saw I saw the in the chat that you want to um, have your team do it. So yes, just to, actually I can do these one on one per company, um, or we can set up another group call that's open to all brokers. Either one. So shoot me an email with how you want it set up, and we'll get that set up. Oh, and I see a question. Is there a recorded? I actually did record this today. So if you want a copy of the recorded call from today's meeting, shoot me an email to the email address on your screen and I will send you the recorded copy as well. We do not have a correspondent channel today. But um, I, we did talk about on our last call that we are going to be rolling out a non-delegated correspondent line very, very soon. So it should be sometime this year, and I'll definitely keep you guys posted. We will be offering the down payment assistance when we roll out the correspondent channel. That is the plan. So that is, that's the direction that I got from the higher ups. Um, we don't have the correspondent line yet, but hopefully it will be this year in 2022.
And I think that is all the questions I see in the chat. So I am going to end the webinar. But if you can think of something that I didn't cover, call me, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to help. And thank you guys again for joining the call. I really appreciate your time. Have a good one.